What a year it was in 2023 for the Frontier League in football. The conference was home to the number two overall seed in the 4A state bracket in Lewisburg, a representative in the sub-state championship game in Tonganoxie, and constantly head down to the wire action every week of the regular season. My name is Dylan Funk, and before we get set for the 2024 season, let's look back and recap the 2023 season for all Frontier League teams. Starting with the Baldwin Bulldogs, who look to improve after finishing 0-3 in league play. They played Frontier League opponents in the first three games of the season against Eudora, Ottawa, and Lewisburg, being outscored 140-14 combined. Head coach Bob Lischer will now face the challenge of replacing two-way star Jack Harvey, who is now playing college football at the University of Wyoming. Harvey played quarterback and linebacker, earning first-team All-League honors for his defensive efforts. The Dogs showed flashes of talent in their two wins against Anderson County and Osawatomie. They just now need to focus on consistency and avoiding big scoring runs from the opposition in 2024. The Bulldogs have some pieces returning on both sides of the football, including Brett Davidson, Jack Van Horn, and Ryder Nye, all three earning All-League honors as juniors. Looking to be there with them are the Bonner Springs Braves, who are also coming off a rough 2023 season when they went winless in league play. Their lone win came in the final week of the regular season against Schlegel, 35-6. Sophomore running backs Leonard Fugasha and Kane Smith combined for 210 yards and three touchdowns. Both will be critical pieces to a rush-heavy offense after graduating quarterback Kalen Stray and second-team All-League running back Trayton Marquez. The Paola Panthers look to pounce into contention in 2024 after back-to-back subpar seasons. Behind a tough schedule, the Panthers struggled with alternating wins and losses throughout the 2023 season. They started with a home win versus Fort Scott before losing the following week at Lewisburg. They bounced back with a road win at Ottawa, then were routed at home against Tonganoxie the next week, 49-21. Perhaps the bookmark victory of the season came the next week on the road at Pittsburgh, where the Panthers earned a 19-16 victory behind a second-half J.D. Troutman 70-yard touchdown run. Paola finished the regular season with road losses at Spring Hill in Eudora with a win on senior night sandwiched in between versus Bonner Springs. The Week 9 postseason loss at Baser Linwood, their record was 4-5 overall. The Panthers saw eight players earn All-League honors, including returning starters J.D. Troutman, Jace Curley, J.J. Crawford, and Jasper Logan. Under head coach Mike Smith, don't sleep on the Panthers in 2024. A surprise to many, the Eudora Cardinals are one of two teams to finish 3-4 in league play in 2023. The Cards were one of the favorites to win it all, behind seniors Cole Manley at quarterback and Adrian Seals at wide receiver. After winning their first two games against Baldwin and Bonner Springs, Eudora dropped back-to-back -back home games against Spring Hill and Ottawa, losing by three points in each game. The Cardinals went 2-2 two two over their final four regular season games to finish the season 4-4, four four, which earned them the eighth seed in the postseason bracket. They beat ninth seeded Piper in the first round 28-14, and their season would end the following week to top-seeded Atchison. Seniors Brayden Hubler and Adrian Seals earned first-team All-League honors, and Eudora returns a solid team in 2024, led by Errol Seaman, Braden Spear, and Christian Jarrett as they look to bring a Frontier League title home to Eudora. The Ottawa Cyclones, who also finished 3-4 and four in league play, could be a dark horse team going into 2024. After a 1-2 start, their signature win came in Week 4 when they had a come-from-behind win on the road at Eudora 17-14, stealing one from the Cardinals. They went 1-1 over the next two weeks in league play before facing a brutal back end of the schedule facing Lewisburg and Tonganoxie twice, once in the regular season and again the following week in the Week 9 postseason. Head coach Walt Anderson will have to replace senior quarterback Zeiton Vink, but the rest of the pieces are there on both sides of the ball. Returning are senior running back Dante Silvi and junior wide receiver Aiden McCullough, senior Seth Ferguson and Cole McGrath anchor what should be a stout defense in 2024. One thing these guys have in common, they all earned second-team All-League honors last season. It should be a fun one in Ottawa in 2024. Tonganoxie recorded its best season in program history in 2023. Head coach Preston Troyer orchestrated a high-powered offense behind seniors Trevor McGraw, Colton Bruzman, and Isaiah Holthaus, all three earning all-league honors. The Chieftains started the season defeating rival Baser Linwood before losing a down-to-the-wire game the following week at Spring Hill, 36-29. Tongi then strung together three consecutive wins to set up a massive home game versus Lewisburg, where league title aspirations were on the line. Despite a great effort, the Wildcats escaped with a victory in a Classic, 30-29. That loss would fuel the Chieftains' deep run into November after winning their last two regular season games and defeating Ottawa in the first round of the postseason. The Chieftains would go the distance in a slugfest with the Blue Comets in Chanute as they gutted out a physical victory, 28-21. 
and that would punch the Chieftains' ticket to top-seeded Atchison in the sectional round the following week. The Chieftain offense soared high at Amelia Earhart Stadium, racking up over 600 yards of offense and a 57-50 shootout win. The season would end the following week in the sub-state championship game versus St. Thomas Aquinas, who would go on to win their first state championship since 2018. How do you surpass history in 2023 if you're talking Oxy? By making more in 2024. Spring Hill looks to claim their first league title since 2021 after finishing one game back in the standings. The Broncos came out of the gates hot, winning their first three games of the season against league opponents. They suffered their first loss in Week 4 to explosive Blue Valley Southwest, 63-35. The Broncos would rattle off three more consecutive wins, including dominant road wins at Paola and Fort Scott, where the offense put up 60-plus points in each game. The Broncos played the regular season finale with a chance to take the title against Lewisburg but came up short as the Wildcats won their second straight Frontier League championship. Spring Hill beat Leavenworth in the first round of the postseason, 63-14, advancing to the second round for the fifth straight season. And the season would end at 5A Powerhouse Mill Valley the following week, 56-7. Coach Feedback will look to replace most of the offensive production from 2023 after losing a core senior class, including running back Colton McKenna, McKenna rushed for a league-best 29 touchdowns in nine games and recorded 1,997 total yards of offense. New faces on a rebuilt offense and defense look to bring the title home in 2024. Everyone expected the Wildcats to take a step back in 2023 after winning the league title the year before behind 16 seniors. Led by an explosive offense and stout defense, Lewisburg did just the opposite. Head coach Drew Harding saw his team go undefeated in league play for the second year in a row and undefeated in the regular season. The closest game of the year came on the road in week six at Tonganoxie, 30 to 29, as Ashton Moore and Declan Battle each had 170 rushing yards and combined for three touchdowns. They capped off the perfect regular season with wins against Ottawa and Spring Hill to earn the two seed in the postseason. The Wildcats hammered Labette County 47-0 in the first round and suffered heartbreak in the second after a 22-20 upset by Baser Linwood. Lewisburg was the only team last season to have four players earn first-team All-League honors, three of which are coming back for senior seasons in running back Ashton Moore, tight end Conley Hovey, and offensive lineman Braden Yoder. Declan Battle earned first-team All-League honors at quarterback. Forget about a rebuild. The Wildcats look to reload and go for the three-peat in 2024. The 2024 season kicks off across the Frontier League on Friday, September 6th. Be sure to follow the action on Friday nights at our website, varsitysportslive.com. And make sure to subscribe to the Varsity Sports Live YouTube channel and follow us on all social media platforms at Varsity Sports Live. I'm Dylan Funk. We'll see you next time here on the Frontier League Podcast.